I'll, I'll be honest with you. If you're just us, just us guys talking, I'd trade an inch off my joint to get my hair back. S C U. You are now listening to Shattered Cast. I'm not prepared to be shattered with your host, Matt Baldwin, Skullface, Greg for Mercy, Oscar NJ Boy. Rx6 Mega A1. Welcome to Shattered Cast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are listening to Shattered <laughs> Cast Uncut Episode 10. We're in double digits. Five more episodes that we can smoke in the garage without mom knowing. I am your host for tonight, Oscar Alonzo. Haven't heard me in a while. I know that because I got a big penis. Joining me tonight, as always, is one of the founding members, Mr. Skullface. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And alongside of him helping him braid his back hair is everyone's favorite project <laughs> practice girl, Greg for Mercy. Oh, man, you fucking homo. I'm going to fucking kill you after the show. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, penis. Sorry, penises. And speaking of penises, this guy's been known to have a 13-inch baby arm holding an apple at the end of it. <laughs> everyone's favorite <laughs> voice of passion, Mr. Antoine Mega 8 What's going on, man? What's going on? I think it's funny how he knew you were talking about him. When you were about <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's sitting there holding he's just like, he said big dick, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming up right after Antoine, holding the trail as always, is everyone's favorite ha- pro Hasbro, pro pa- Bay movie endorsement, the one, the only, Mr. Deluxe Matthew. Hi. <laughs> wow! So yeah, I think that was the best intro there. You fucking disappointed. <laughs> and then, as always, he's probably the most respected reviewer amongst all of us. The only guy I know that doesn't brag about his three hundred dollar lighting set. The only guy I know that doesn't stick his hands on me because he's a coward outright, and he doesn't name himself after something so stupid as something that someone would eat once a year when they grow and get a year older. The one, the only, you know him as T2RX6. We call him Justin Bears, but also I call him probably the most reputable guy on the internet. Uh, Justin, sorry, I said your name. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. That's what I call an intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. It was so good. I call it an intro. <laughs> College radio days, Buck, no university, go Bison. No big right. deal. <laughs> no big Slap, deal. Stick a team patch on and pray for the best. Shit, <laughs> 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 man. Shit, I don't know where the fuck to go after that, man. No, I know. I, I, I so to finish, finish, finish All right, good night, guys. Uh, <laughs> as always, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And uh, yeah, no. um, we're gonna talk. Uh, here, I'm looking at the show notes here. Conventions. I want to make uh, clear to anyone that lives in the Central Florida area, yours truly will be attending MegaCon one day only on Sunday because that's when I could get the best deal and haggle the fucking overpriced vendors down. And I'm um, hoping to walk out of there with some sweet swag. I got like 100 bucks saved up already, so that should give me like, what, a fucking t-shirt, right? Whatever. Awesome. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. You guys got any uh, conventions besides TFCon coming up nearby you may uh, try to frequent? Not necessarily nearby, but I uh, I did, for, for those in the Mid-Atlantic area, I did uh, fill out paperwork for a table for Baltimore this year. So I'll be back at Baltimore for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's, uh, I don't even know, I think it's in fucking September. Baltimore awesome. Comic Con. It's kind of a big deal. I'm going to Skull Face Con on Saturday. But, uh, yeah, no big deal. That's going to be a good time. <laughs> we're going to do some filming. We're going to get some shit done. Well, i got a Little Rock Comic Con in know. June 7th, so I'll be going to that. I don't know. Cool. Very cool. Greg? Gonna Sounds go dangerous. It is. <laughs> Nerds everywhere. Greg, nothing? Maybe? Um, Court cons. dates? Yeah. No cons. Antoine, you got any, uh, got any uh, dicky gonna be slinging in a convention anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, no, no, no comments. No, no comments. All right, right now, let's go ahead and jump right back on it. So, uh, our good friends over at MechaForm, guys that sent us friend requests because we're the best number one Transformers podcast ever, <laughs> has let us know that they didn't pull a Mach 5 and take their ball and go home. They, in fact, uploaded new images of their Sky Guardian figure, which is yeah. really yeah. red, so he must be angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that this is fucking funny, man, because, like, y- you know, like, I wish we could have, like, a montage of, like, taped conversations about the third-party Skyfire game um, and how, like, dramatically it has changed over, like, oh, the yeah. course of, like, a year and a half from, like, everybody initially saying, you know, Mechaform or Bust 
you know, to now people are like, ugh, I don't know, fucking, you know, and then people saying, oh, well, Fans Toys is coming along with the safe bet, so no need to worry about any of the choices, and then now it's, well, Kronos is actually looking better than all three of them, you know, it's like, it's, it has changed and fluctuated so much, I don't, I don't fucking think I've seen anything like it, you know, where this seemed like the surefire winner in the beginning, and now everybody's kind of like, meh. No offense to Megaswans, thanks for friending me, but I can't get behind this thing. I like I like your 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 part where the uh, Autobot logo is clearly gonna go, but it uh, it looks misshapen to me. It doesn't look like it's the right. It looks height. way too fucking big, man. Like that ain't that doesn't even look fucking MP. It's but it looks MP. King but he's like no, yeah, no. He kind of looks like he's a lo- like I know he's not Voyager class because they have size comparison figures there. You know, with everyone's. Mm. Well, favorite Optimus figures, obviously. <laughs> but um, friggin', you know, it's just I don't know. It's not doing it for me. Like if I had the cash to shell out for Decas figure, I probably would. Decas, whatever it's called. Yeah, the- <clears throat> I probably would rather buy that than this because this looks really un unstable. The, wow. The thing that really bothers me is where like the nose cone of the jet comes down to meet the legs there, like. That whole area looks like super duper hollow, and it just doesn't look good. Like, isn't the the, the part on his back on the original Jetfire, like the G one? That was most of that was like that extra add on boost. Yeah, and parts jetpack, forming right? stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like when I look at this, I, I guess it's not gonna come off. But you know, it looks like <laughs> like that backpack part should come off, and then he just has this like really, really, really tiny waist. You know, like. Yeah, I know oh, a no. cheaper jet fire option out there with a big backpack. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, well, and, and that's Man. the other thing is like when you're in this territory, it's like now you're competing with Hasbro, which you know the jet backpack is something, but at least from the front, it looks pretty solid compared Agreed. to this. You know, and I, I also it's think, affordable too. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think that this is like the you know this is an option for like classics collectors, but yeah. if you're like a classic collector, you know it it. <clears throat> you know, it just makes more sense to stick with the forty-five dollar product anyway. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. pretty much. I mean, I look at this and I can't help but think it's like you know, you go to a dealership that's advertising to giving away free cars for that weekend. So you go, you enter, and you go ahead, and your name gets called alongside of two other people. The first guy gets a Viper, the next guy gets a you know a Chrysler three hundred M, and then you're given a Hyundai Elantra that's uh, got about one hundred twenty thousand miles on it and it bloodstains. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, do that's you, what do I you think. It's just too late. I mean, you know, maybe if they would came up this, you know, six months earlier. Yeah, I, I think this people would have been. I think if this know. would have came out last year, they'd have had a better bet. But after Hasbro oh, announced yeah. that, you know, like, like Chronos, in my opinion, like the 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 DACA one still has a market because Chronos is more MP scaled. Yeah. Um, yep. But but this one, this one is is too little, too late, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. I'm looking at this and. I'm thinking of, like, you date that chick with that sweet-looking ass, and you get her home, and then you pull down those jeans, and and the ass just flops down, and there's hair, you know? (laughs) And you're just like, why didn't you fucking wax that before you went out tonight? Well, like... Seriously. Also, like, uh... Who wears a thong? (laughs) The, uh... Specs of high school. One thing I do like about it is that, like, you can tell it has, like, that flipping gimmick, so that you can put, like, the Decepticon symbol on one side, and then flip it. You know, yeah. so that it's an Autobot symbol like that. That's cool. You know, it's just not cool enough. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I, so, I like always trying to find something nice to say to you, Bobby. Don't worry. Yeah, see, you know, I, I um, question their background too. That that whole snow. That's just. Weird. Oh, you know where that? You know what they're trying to do there. I mean, I oh, almost feel like this from the G one episode. You know, <laughs> I feel like they should get a little credit for that, man. Come on. I I get <laughs> it, but you probably could have found a patch of snow that wasn't just. <laughs> It had like exhaust on it from like cars, like like the brown black snow. Oh, like, you know, the guy taking a photo is like, oh man, my dog shit. Hold on, he just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I bet that we all know in the end it was it. We all know in the end it was Dirge that freed him from his icy prison. <laughs> <laughs> totally, he used the yeah. worst fucking conehead mold ever to you fucking. Know, you, know yeah. you know what I'm thinking about right now? Remember that yeah. episode of uh, of Prime where. Uh, Optimus rides with Wheeljack sitting shotgun in that little jet or the little ship. He's all like hunched over. I'm looking at the shelf where my MP10 is. And I'm thinking about Kronos if I get him. And now he's going to be all like hunched over like that on the shelf. 
Because if I do get that one, I'm going to have to get a whole new setup. Ugh. I know. The interesting thing about this, I'm reading the comments here on Facebook, and uh, someone points out that the arms and wings and stuff have a bunch of 5 millimeter uh, holes. holes for, uh, like I guess, like armor upgrades and stuff, and Mechaform kind of compliments this person on noticing that. So uh, I don't know if that means more more add-on stuff is going to come for them or not, but yeah. I mean, what yeah. what what could they what could they add on to to sell it though? Do you know what I mean? Like, what would seal the deal uh, the as an clip. add-on? The gun clip. What gun clip? Remember the G1 came with a gun clip. Okay, and yeah. that would that would make you get this over the Hasbro one. I tried to make it funny, and it wasn't funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, why, don't you, why don't you go ahead and leave the jokes to those of us corner. without... Why don't you leave the jokes to those of us without morals? No, Thank you. I'm <laughs> going to sit in the corner fuck. right now. I apologize. You guys sit back in your fucking recliner and think about what you did. I will. Yeah. My can so finish top. But, but you know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, Thank you, <laughs> You know, what, 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 what could they possibly do to... You know? I don't... I, right. I don't know. Just, uh, just more uh, money. You know, they, it is. I, I, I got to see how much they're going to ask for this guy, and then maybe I'd be like, well, you know, you're paying this much, you are going to get that. But oh. then again, 160, you get five pounds of what looks like really sweet looking fucking awesomeness. I think 160. I was going to say yeah. 120, maybe. Um, here's my question, though. Yeah. Um, how tall is Rita Class compared to Masterpiece? They're about the same size. Uh, MP10. Yeah. Uh, is about the same size. But which leader? Are you talking that, about movie that's leader, old class, leader or? class? Though that's not, you know, that's not necessarily how it is anymore with the the scaling changes that we've seen. Yeah. So, so the, like that, a, that new Jedi is more considered for classics or masterpiece. Which one? Mechaform. The Hasbro one. Oh, no, that's more like classics. Yeah, that's yeah. not masterpiece. Classics, okay. I mean, yeah. no offense, but if it was for masterpiece, they would have. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I mean, I, there's no, there's no way to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, because you know, it, like when they when they do a masterpiece, it's a big fucking deal. You know, yeah, like right. when, yeah, sure. when they when, when like you know, it, that's just that's just the fucking truth of it. Like when they do a masterpiece, like when they present a masterpiece and reveal a masterpiece, like it's a fucking show. Yeah, everybody you know, wants to say it. When when they when they do one of these numbers, it's just like, oh yeah, and we got this too, folks. Yeah, you, know, I, you don't see masterpiece shit popping up on eBay by accident. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but you will see, like, especially fucking, not for a grand. Right, right, right. Yeah. Fucking geniuses that was. Go, going back to this uh, mecha form thing, real quick. I know, like, in the G One cartoon, Skyfire was huge. But does anybody else just feel like comparing it to like this Optimus and Dirge? Like, he's just too big. Like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's almost ridiculous looking, and like, like I think that it's I think that it's right. It it is right because it. But I it, think that it, it was kind of wrong to begin with. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And <laughs> yeah. it's like I'm I'm okay with him just being like Grimlock taller than yep. Optimus. You know, yep, like he doesn't need to be towering above Optimus. And I feel like that came to be because they knew the Jetfire toy was huge compared to G1 Optimus right. toy, so I they agree. just made him huge in the cartoon. I totally agree. So, yeah, I don't know. Even though it was a fucking Robotech. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it, it bothers me that he's so big, I guess. Yeah, it does kind of kill it. And speaking of kill, you know what's awesome? Motorcycles. You know what's better than motorcycles? Robots. You know what happens when you combine the two? You get Unique Toys' updated version of fucking Psykill from the robots. L- let me that, just say, anybody out there who's thing? like, we don't need these, shut the Go. fuck up. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> wow. goddamn mouth. <laughs> yeah, Justin's a GoBot fanatic. And this looks so good. I mean, this is an awesome looking, like, like a rat rod type motorcycle. This makes like, me, I see the photo of him, like, as a robot, and it makes me want to make a meme saying, reason number 2,634 as to why you bought Hegemon was you can pose him to be stabbing Psykill. Yeah. Because I I look at this I look at this figure and I go yeah oh fuck yeah like he doesn't need those dangly two B arms that he had from the cartoon you know yeah. like I look at this and I go wow man like a the wheels are huge but it's whatever you get over it and then the rest of him is just like it's awesome like that's how a motorcycle transformer should look and mm-hmm. yeah it's win man it's win yeah 
Yeah. You know, and then there's the, uh, you know, is it official, is it not official pictures Please. of them possibly doing the rest of the GoBots. Please. You know, you could go ahead and debate that with, did I really bang that stripper, or did I only give her 150 bucks for my health? You know, it's... it's my it's, my, th- my theory her. is, because it has AC toys on it, you know, exactly. and... In, so and and my, my theory is is that the when, when they fucking came up with the marketing plan, the guy that sent it up the chain or whatever wrote fucking GoBots on it, mm-hmm. and, and then it got out before somebody said, "Fuck, we can't advertise this." It says GoBots on it. Well, <laughs> like, and, and plus that is that your designs on there are clearly like very much just stylized versions of the original designs, whereas like this I kill here is clearly quite a bit different yeah, than the true. original design, but. You know, if they are coming out to do, like, you know, at least the big three on each side, that's freaking awesome. You know, yep. that's all That's all I want, personally. I'll take more, but the big three is all I care about for the most part. And yeah. you know what? Unique Toys hit it out of the park with uh, Mania King. So I'm really looking forward to this guy right here. And uh, Greg and I, for those interested, are starting a support group um, yes. for those that are trying not to buy stuff that they know that don't necessarily want they just think is super cool like this stuff i won't um, buy go bots and bobby won't buy uh raptor uh secret. The gear secrets. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait wait hold on I- inform me why why is bobby not buying yeah, that. because dude like i just i just have to like i i got fucking okay i got masterpiece seekers i got the eye gear masterpiece seekers i got the impossible toy seekers i have the classic seekers i have the tet- uh the fucking um the yeah, foc yeah. the foc seekers now thanks I'm to you sorry. i have the um what, what the fuck else do i have uh maybe G1. that's it that's yeah, oh the g1 i got the g1 <laughs> that's six that's six fucking sets of seekers i have you know like do i yeah, need but, to but they're not the idw stuff <laughs> See, That's you are, what not, you are not allowed in the fucking support group. <laughs> Come on, man. You go ahead, you grab that Thundercracker and be like, hey, what's your problem, guy? has Thundercrackers. <laughs> Look at it. Just one. Just one more. I am I am gonna buy that one figure. Like I don't see myself buying like the ram like the cone heads, but I am gonna get my hands on that Thundercracker he'd be great in my Thundercracker collection. Dude, Does anyone else see the irony? In uh, in people spending a hundred bucks a pop to relive those childhood memories of the toys your parents bought you because they didn't want to spend the ten dollars on Transformers. Says so the guy that just paid for free. <laughs> <laughs> just you paid how much saying? for? <laughs> no, totally, totally. Trust me, trust me. I just, you know, I'm about to shell out seventy for a Generation Two Sideswipe. I figured that I wasn't crazy about the black Lamborghini when I was a kid, but I look at it now like. God, look at that. Look at those guns and that fucking machete. I got I'm going to put all the stickers on that motherfucker sat- Saturday when he shows up. I got to be honest. All stickers. I had canceled my pre-order for GT Sideswipe. I think Greg may have sold it to me in a chat we had earlier this morning. <laughs> oh, that was fucking funny. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so anyway, this is the same type of thing. This fucking, you know, I want, I want this cycle. Like, I look at it and I want it. Like, I had GoBots. You know, um, it was mainly when, you know, I guess times times were a little bit more hard. But, uh, you know, I had to fucking GoBots. I I would love to have the big six, but like a hundred dollars a pop. Like, do I hundred dollars a pop like the GoBots? Yes. Bobby's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed in the group either. <laughs> Bobby's like, uh, he's like, man, I don't want to forget where I came from, so I could teach some, I could tutor some inner city kids, or I could spend six hundred dollars on a set of good butts. <laughs> Hmm. Those one inner city kids are screwed. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these GoBots real quick. Yeah, thing, if I gave in to my to my my weaker primitive wants and needs and desires. I would spend six hundred dollars in GoBots and another fucking six hundred dollars in Seekers, and, seekers. and then I'd be fucking twelve hundred dollars in the hole. You don't need <laughs> single, just the GoBots. Yeah, well, you fucking now, fucking, but I got, I got, you're like the the good angel on one shoulder, and I got fucking Oscar on the other shoulder telling me I need the fucking Raptor. What about this IDW Thundercracker <laughs> between, the, between the two, the two of you? Uh, now, don't I don't even have devil horns, dude. I got hilarious. the wings. Yeah. Don't you think it's hilarious that the guy that uh, you got into it with 
<laughs> go over third party shit is the dude that's now fucking, he's talking you know, me into third party shit. It. Damn it! Oh, oh, God, God. don't be a pussy. He's that <laughs> Come on, guy. <laughs> First time's free. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's bad. You know, you know, like you're really, really bad influence. When my girlfriend, who like could, I'm, I love her to death. She knows I love her. She's not here, unfortunately. She's uh with a friend, but she she really could like care less how excited I get. You know, but she knows my love for seekers, and that's where a lot of you guys listening. That's where me and Skullface like see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. <clears throat> We're seeker fanboys. When she saw me looking at the eye gear seekers, she's like, "Oh, babes, those will look great with the guy who turns into a gun." <laughs> so I'm like well, Megatron. You're... She's like, yeah, yeah, Megaton. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> you, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you, you know why she's that way? Uh. Because the two of you don't share a fucking bank account. Because let me tell you, <laughs> when the two of you share a bank account, it's a totally fucking different. Like when I, when I showed fucking my wife that set, she was like, no, no wait, another set of fucking jets. You can't. <laughs> you, can't you, you can't be fucking serious. <laughs> I, was, I was telling you, I get one collection, and I have to sometimes sneak stuff in. Uh, for my wife. And, uh, Sarah, Matt, just, just real quick. I hope she listens to the show. Wife listen to this show? No. She does. <laughs> uh, if I make her out, she will. But, <laughs> but um, no, yeah, I'm just like, I'm like Bobby, you know. I, it's it's there, you really want it, but like, I don't think it would fit into my collection. I just, it's really nice. I mean, you know, it's a, it, it, it looks like a nice figure, but, you know, with Warbertron coming out, you know, that's a hundred bucks a pop right there almost. I could use it for that. Oh, don't get me wrong. Like, I would, I would make a, I would make a way for that motherfucker to fit into my collection. Oh Same yeah, I'm sure you would. I just not me. I mean, and like I told you know Bobby and all them, I used, I was a huge mask fan, and if they started doing reissues of that stuff, oh, I'd be all over that in a heartbeat. I hope they do, but yeah, my what mask. It? Yeah, my love for masks died after freaking uh, Robot Chicken did that skin on them, and how <laughs> the leader married. Oh. Miles My- Venom or whatever his name was, and yeah, and I was like, oh no, wrong. Do, do, do you remember? Like, just as quick side note, do you remember when Mass turned into like a racing show? Season yeah, three. that was like the third season, I think. What that was mean? that was that was. I that thought was that was pole position, or is that the same thing? <laughs> that was a little. That was a little much. That you know what? That, that was the end of the yeah the end of the show when the, that started. That doing. Uh, let me ask you a question, Deluxe. Well, how deep does your love for masks go? Did you buy that uh, GI Joe? Uh, no, I don't have any mask at all. No, I, had I don't it. have any. Well, no, because uh, they slipped that into um, that the twenty fifth anniversary line. Yeah, that, yeah, which uh, was cool. That was cool. Yeah, I picked him I up. Saw it. Yeah, I've got him. He's awesome. He flies my jet fire that's sitting on my shelf. Well, that's cool. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, I don't have any right now. But if they did reissue, like did like a thirtieth or twenty fifth, whatever, how long have they been? Uh, I, I would definitely get those. Uh, I'm a big mask fan. Remember those uh, Stealth Force Transformers, the ones that you just like pulled something and a bunch of weapons came out. Yeah. yeah. Why did they the not movie? make mask repaints of those? Yeah. Yep. Hollow it out. You know, hollow out a little more plastic, and then you could sit a fucking GI Joe in there. Yeah. Oh my god, my gears are turning. Right. That would have made sense, probably. Yeah. Yeah, Weren't they Tonka? Yeah, Hasbro owns Tonka. They bought out Tonka shit. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Mask was Kenner, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Yeah, Kenner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. They they could do it if they want, but I guess the internet's too busy filling out petitions to have Ben Affleck recast as Batman. (laughs) <laughs> have any solid changes made that would matter but um speaking of changes how about that uh first look at generations rc and dark cybertron number two dark cybertron part 10 issue number 27 more than meets the eye looks promising oh, yeah. looks nice I, I just think it's a little too orangey red hey 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 <laughs> i i, I, I now, wait, 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 wait a fucking second here. I didn't. I didn't say. I think it looks a little too. I just, I just said so. She's not going to be pink. Wait, did you say you put that through one of your programs and pulled up the uh, the color chart? Yep. <clears throat> just to uh, prove a point. Yep. Oh, you fucking nerd. <laughs> Print screen. Enter text field. Control V. There you go, motherfucker. Evidence. It's not pink. Oh, Evidence. Right there. It's orangey red. It's not pink like pussy. In wow. fairness, the Autobot logo is oh, looking pretty oh, orange there, too. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still going to buy this bitch. Yep. Yeah. Because, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, 
it's kind of weird when I have my first edition RC and my RID RC scissor. They're like cis twins. So, at least this way, it's like, hey, I'm the ant that's going to teach you all the moves. And they'll be like, okay, bro. And then they'll fuck. I just, um, you know, I want to see the design. And, and unfortunately for me, is you know, for Mike, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for all you guys. You know, especially you, Deluxe. I'm just ecstatic for you, brother. But, um, you know, I just, I don't think that this is going to work at all for, for my collection. That's because you know, you're not a deluxe collector. That's that's the big reason. Right. It's just too small for what you're gonna. Yep. What you? Oh, well, MMC's doing their version of RC. So. Yeah, but I don't think she's much bigger that's though. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I don't think so. She's well, get the comparison size. picks were with that Grumlock, and it was right about deluxe size. Yeah. yeah. yeah She'll I'm, go I'm, do with IDW shelf. I'm I'm just I'm disappointed with all the you know the luck sizes lately you know you can tell you can look at it from the first movie to you know classics to what we have now and they're just getting smaller and smaller and they're just but I don't know, you know there's nothing you can do that's Hasbro or not Bow that's I'm like a true fucking defeatist you know yeah. this show's <laughs> so much worse when when Deluxe is agreeing with about everybody. Hasbro. <laughs> yeah. There's nobody sad, defending them. I mean, it just I mean, I understand why they did, you know, because you know, rise of oil prices, all that stuff, and but you know, don't charge us sixteen bucks for a, a, a you know, a, a smaller deluxe size. I'm just well, yeah, raise the cost, keep the thing the same, or drop the cost and make it smaller. But yeah, preferably, yeah. I'd rather it be same size as the original, like two thousand what six, seven yeah. deluxes. Oh yeah, but I'm all in for this RC. If it's if what it looks like right now, I'm, yeah, it looks really nice. Um, and it looks a little pink. Maybe use a little red. It may not be all pink, but it's it kind of it looks a little orangey red. But yeah, yeah. it could also yeah. just be a bad skin too. I mean, yeah, it could oh, be. yeah, yeah. This is you know. Well, well, I'll, I'll ask the definitive question here. Um, you're a robot. Would you fuck her? Yes. <laughs> wow. In the butthole. Oh, Damn. Boy. The exhaust yeah. pipe. Is uh, uh is the watch secretly a uh, prime yeah, wheel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll was the test. I see what you did there. Oh, speaking of a prime we all know and love, can, just randomly because you're talking about rising like figure costs or whatever. Anybody notice uh, in the Gary Chalk interview how he was like talking about like gas prices were going up? And then I went and filled up my tank uh, a couple days ago, and uh, gas is like almost four dollars a fucking gallon. Yep. It's like three forty down here still, bro. So yeah. it's about three three nineteen. It's been about three nineteen around in Arkansas for a, a little while. Oh shit! I gotta drive to Arkansas and buy gas. Oh, well, after that, um, Marty meets the item at twenty seven. The Lost Light crew reunited with their Cybertronian Autobot brothers. Yeah. Who cares? I think that, well, I mean, like you know, <laughs> I think that I've, I've personally been me personally. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this since the, the since the book split. Yeah. So uh, I don't really know any. There was some. Uh, there was some uh, revelations um, in this issue. Um, I really. I, I read it last night. I got. I get my comics through Comicsology, and um, really shocked at uh, seeing the little sentimental side of Megatron, and him saying basically, like, awesome. you know, you know what I really, really won, wasn't at like uh, I forgot what place he mentioned. Uh, he it was when that. he had the people follow him, but he said he started losing when he made them fight. So. Yeah, he said that uh, he was like, he was like, do you know the closest I ever came to victory? And he references this battle where like the first really big battle in the comic, and uh, yeah, it's like half the population died. No, yeah, he was like, when uh, when the planet finally cooled down, ninety eight percent was under Decepticon control, and yeah. uh, he's like, yeah, if you had asked me a week ago or asked me whatever ago, that's what I would when I would have said I almost won. He's like. But now I realize the closest I was to uh, victory was right before I gave the order to attack. And then he grabbed Starscream's pretty... ass, didn't he? No, Starscream was getting shot by somebody else, actually, at that point. Oh. He always but, uh, gets fucking killed. I don't... <sighs> well, he didn't get killed, he just got shot. Oh, he just got shot? Okay. I need, I need to really start reading these. I, I, They're great. The way y'all talk about them, and the way everybody else talks about them, I need to... Uh, get back into reading I, comics again. I, I'm not gonna lie, Starscream in this comic series for R.I.D. has been really like lackluster. Has it? Yeah, I've not really yeah. heard anything about him. You know, like anything spectacular that he's done. 
Right. Now I'm a bit I'm a bit behind where you are, Oscar. But I um, but I, I've liked him in OID. Like I, I've liked his like puppet master, you know, kind of stuff. Like his. Um, it's it just seems so like star like God, I hate the sound so generic, but it, he he just seems so star screen. And I wasn't like okay, I get it. You're treacherous. You're you're laying out your plots. You know your little your little ambitious uh, swerves here and there. You gotta pull all these strings and. You gotta make. You gotta go ahead and you know befriend Metal Hawk for the sake of looking good for all the males and non-affiliated you know uh, indigenous life forms, and you're gonna do all this stuff. And then right before that issue came out, I was like, he's gonna kill Metal Hawk. And yep, he killed Metal Hawk. And you know he went ahead and did his grandstand speech about I'm neither Autobot or Decepticon. I'm just a leader. And they all started following him, and he kicked everyone out. And I was just like, okay, well, Starship's in control. Let's see what happens. Look what happened. So oh, see, now, I'm, that's kind of where I'm at is where he took control. So, yeah. well, that was the whole. I mean, that was the whole reason they did that, though. Yeah, but it's like okay, uh, we have a storyline where he was in control, but we had that. Well, I, I guess it's just because I read the Marvel run, and you had a while where he was in control too. So, I'll tell you, my favorite part of the issue was uh, that one one page. I don't. I just read it one time today. I don't remember who said it, but. Uh, they were at Swerves, and everyone was back together, and uh, they were all singing and shit, and uh, someone was like, you know, millions of years of fighting, and countless people lost, and blah, blah, blah. That was Hound. Hound. Yeah, and he's like, and we all end up together in a bar singing. <laughs> and, like, there's, like, uh, Seekers, and, like, whatever. I mean, you know, construction. Yeah, Frenzy and Rumble stuff. singing. Yeah, I like that. I like seeing that. That I was like actually. That too. Um, Aww. yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm getting a little too much of that kind of vibe from that. <laughs> Just like uh, that's Aww. not how. I want oh, to it's that. it's like it's it's like what it is. It's the, the issue's like really good. It's it's obviously well scripted and it's very it, it's it's the cool down period. You know, like you had like two titans going at it just now. I know yeah. it's all cooled off, but not really. You know, yeah, you have. Shockwave's making his grand plan. And you know, he I just making a grand plan. Basically, yeah, he's always <laughs> usually plotting, yeah. but I hope that they um they basically uh introduce a brand new villain that isn't Megatron or Shockwave or Galvatron for that matter. I like to see a new Decepticon become the big baddie. Bludgeon. Uh, is he in the? He's yeah, he's in this, yeah. yeah, he's with, he's in a dead universe with the. Uh, uh, what about um Overlord? He's, um, he's, been, he's definitely been in it. Yeah. He yeah, Overlord's just, like dominated the. He plays a pretty CI. pivotal role. In, Does it? Well, like, he did, you know, last day on the records of it. Yeah. God dang. Yeah, well, the, the same, like, creative people that, like, the same creative team that did last day on the records are pretty much doing more than me. Oh, okay. Part. Yeah, I definitely got ready to him. That, that's, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Overlord's kind of like, I mean, he's. I mean, in fact, they even reference Overlord in this issue. Um, there's still <laughs> yeah. repercussions. Of, uh, of that biz. Yep. But, uh, so, um, play light. Got Blue Street. Don't work in the basement. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. God, that yeah. was great. And the fact that fucking Prowl was like kind of behind the whole bit, I, I love that too. Yep. Oh, uh, wait till you see fucking Prowl on this fucking issue. Prowl, like, he's Batman. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like a fucking Transformer. <laughs> he's a Transformer <laughs> Batman. Batman. Swear to me, Bumblebee. Batman's <laughs> a top uh, Prowl's a fucking asshole. So is Batman. Bat Batman's an asshole, too. I like that the Constructicons are like following Prowl. They're, oh, they're, yeah, they got his back and everything. Prowlicons, yeah. Yeah, the Prowlicons. <laughs> the Prowlicons, really? <laughs> yeah, no, because there was this part where, because, uh, you know, I mean, if you've read R.I.D., um, I mean, you've probably heard about it, how Prowl ends up being part of Devastator. Yeah. Um, there's a scene where uh, Chrome Dome and Prowl are going at it in this issue, and the Constructicons are egging Prowl on. They're like, "Yeah, you can get, you can beat Clown Dome." Yeah. Like, "Hey, Prowl, kind of got this itch that needs to be scratched." You know, you got that, that itch. <laughs> yeah, like, what you saying, buddy? Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, this speak, series I like it a lot. But speaking of something that's debatably awesome or not, anyone interested in the uh, masterpiece restraint? Uh, Masterpiece Streak repaint to Silver Streak. No. That apparently this guy's going to be all silver, which is doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea why they would do this thing. Like, 
Well, well they're doing the uh, the e hobby. I have the the silver one, like it's painted chrome. It's all chrome. I think that's what they're going. I for. think it's just silly. Um, yeah, I would have liked them yeah. to have gone the Diaclone route. The Diaclone right. gives you a reason to buy the mold again if you're if yep. you really like the right. uh, the disease. But like for just to have a here's a silver with black hood and now here's just all silver, slightly lighter color. Like that's just so stupid. Like what a waste of time. Yeah. Like I, I want to know how many people dropped pre-orders because just. It's, it's so I almost I almost pre-ordered it when it when it first came out, but then I decided not to. I, was, yeah. I would have preferred the Diaclone color scheme because you don't you can even make him like his own separate character. So yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? Well, if they but, do the whole Chrome thing, that's just that's just waiting to be done in it's, about a year. It's just making me want to buy the Diaclone and over. Yeah. I would. I would have. Oh, bought they'll probably it. do the Diaclone too. Then I would have bought it in those colors if it came with the sound base, kind of like. Uh, that 20th anniversary prime did, and every time you hit the button, it was like Diachrome. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought that. that well, I mean, there's I, still a chance they'll do the Diachrome one too. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll use that mold. I'm sure at some point it'll probably come out, but it's just like this is just that I don't understand why you would make another silver, right? Yeah, this you know, hilarious. silver streak before you would do it anything else. My Especially it, you know the success of that knockoff gold sideswipe. My question is this: Like, because what if it's what if it's a point where they're doing okay? We did, we did blue streak, smoke screen, and prow, and because of those three repaints, we're able to make, you know, all the profit that we quote unquote need to make to make this worthwhile. Right. <clears throat> now, if we do, you know, this diaclone and whatever the fuck this other one, you know, e hobby, you know, we kind of break even there, but we're doing it as a treat. You know, as a kind of a gift to those particular fans, you know, because right. there might be a little bit of fucking honor in in what they're doing. You know, I, I just don't know. Yeah, well, like he's, uh, although they like said, you know, they had to do like what second, third runs on sideswipe, so they're like, you know, we 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 hit it out the park with these. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna, you know, take a chance on this that maybe a lot of people don't want, but you know, there may be a select group that like it and everything. So well. I think about that um, that interview they did with the designer where he was like, you know, this mold and this mold was so successful, like, we were able to add extra, or like extra stuff with smokescreen, and right. we designed Wheeljack without having to worry about a repaint. Uh, meanwhile, there's how many uh, how many side swipes now? Four? And how many uh, with a problem mode? Or a mold? Four? Five? Yeah, four. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like... Okay, so you're not going to repaint Wheeljack. You're just going to make five of these other molds, and it's just like, I mean, that's if they make the Diaclone too. So it's like, so you really think they're not going to make a repaint of Wheeljack? Oh fuck I no! Know. I mean, I mean, fuck yeah! I mean, I'm saying fuck no. I don't think oh. that they're not going to make a repaint. Yeah, yeah. No, hell yeah, they are. It's Hasbro, basically Tagara. Right. The king of the repaints. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Mattel was the king of the repaints with. Uh, with Masters of the Universe back in the day. Because so every Masters like, of the Universe figure was a fucking remold. But. They've proven that like if, if they can't make a repaint of something, they'll find a way to make a repaint of something. Like, <laughs> you know, like they have Optimus Prime, you know, and they're like, well, there's nothing really that we can do for Optimus Prime. Fuck it, paint him black and call him Optimus Prime. Oh, fuck, yeah. it, fuck it, that paint him white and call him Ultra Magnus. Fuck, you know, like... <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the, once, the, once you see a Prime, you automatically say, you know there's going to be a black Nemesis Prime around the corner. Yeah, but it wasn't always Somebody. that way, you know? No, no, not... I mean, that was... I uh, started... I don't know, when they start doing the black uh, um, Optimus Prime? R no, they did that back in G1. Was it R.D. Scourge? Yeah, yeah, they did one in G1, too. Did they? It was a black one. Yeah, it was like a... Really? It was, yeah, the new Cleon Quest one. Yeah, is that what you're Cleon talking about? Was. was that it, maybe? I don't oh, know. I don't know what one. Cause I actually looked this up. Because I was like, when did this shit start? R.E.D. was the first one that they gave him the Nemesis Prime name. Right. New Cleon Quest was... R.E.D. was Scourge. Was, uh, yeah. That wasn't yeah, 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 one. That was... Uh, that was uh, Armada, this... where they gave him the Nemesis Prime name officially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I looked this up one day because I was going to do like a Terminator kind of deal and go back in time and... uh you know, try to stop the repaints from becoming aware. <laughs> and uh, who was you going to take out? Um, don't you worry about it. I can't say it All on right. recording. That's your true. mother. <laughs> wow. 
I'm sorry. Wow. She likes you, Liz. <laughs> I know. I like her too, man. <laughs> she's got the butt like a champ. Yeah. There's gonna be uh there's gonna be you know, Matt Baldwin like circa like two thousand one, like getting his already scourge and I'm gonna come out of a portal like come with me if you wanna live. <laughs> Don't I mean, what, what's what's going time. on? Who are you, bro? Come with me. I'm if you want to live, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Oh, this is Hexatron. Come on, come on. Come on, I got something <laughs> to show you. You mean they actually have a, a articulation? What the his what fingers move. This thing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Who are you, <laughs> sick fuck? But yeah, that nuclear. Uh, I think Justin said nuclear quest. That was wasn't that a repaint of uh, Power Master Pro? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, he's expensive. God dang. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they're retarded. That's for sure. That's actually one of the figures because for a little while I was like, I'm gonna get all that Miss Primes, and uh, yeah. I saw that. I was like, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm going to sell all the Optimus Primes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, TFCC has released pictures of Rampage. Uh-huh. And, uh, paint work looks good. I think the paint look work looks really solid. The head looks super <laughs> tiny. Oh, it's just like a uh, double punch and counter punch all over again. It's all yeah. there. Well, I mean, I, I'm a fan of the, uh, the Prime Megatron mode. Mold. Um, although this guy looks deluxe class. Though. This is the deluxe one, yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's that's the fucking waste of fucking. Well, it's the it's the free figure, so you know they're not gonna go all out, you know. The deluxe so. Megatron wasn't a bad toy. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. Just that Megatron needs to be bigger. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Voyager. But this yeah, was that, Rampage, though. This was Protoform X. This was, you know... Rampage he, was huge, too. Like, yeah. his voice alone in the cartoon series, I remember watching it when I was a teenager. I just I would watch the, the show, and every time he spoke, it was, like, so dark and demonic. And this yeah. just reminds me of, like, that episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer with his demon, you know, arrives on Earth. He's like, ah! And then he's really, like, two inches tall, and he gets stepped on. Yeah. So it, it it's just I don't know it's it just seems like wow I'm just glad I didn't sign up. I just don't get the small head. I mean, uh, it's, it, like I said, I have double punch, and it, the head just does not match well with the body at all. Yeah, it's so small. It's just ridiculous. It just yeah. <laughs> it looks like I don't know. It looks like he's just like a dude wearing like Beetlejuice. super oversized armor or something <laughs> like that, and like you know he doesn't but, really fill it out. He looks I mean, like he's like poking his head out of a door in an outhouse while he's taking a shit when he's <laughs> still composed. It's no, pathetic. I read a comment where they said that all they did is said Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's <laughs> all they said on the comment. I was like, yeah, that's what it looked like. Came for your daughter, <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> the shrunken head. Like, uh, whatever. You know, I just, like, this was something I was going to bring up as a discussion point, but we might as well just tackle it now. Like, you know, am I lagging? No, you're good. No, you're good. Okay. You're good. Um,. You know, I don't fucking get how... Well, I, to me, the big disappointment of these toys has to do with the, <laughs> the cost of the subscription versus the fact that you're just getting repaints of obscure fucking characters. Um, n- now, I, now, Rampage, obviously, isn't as obscure as some, but... Yeah, I mean, with the subscription and all that stuff, you know, the Chrome Dome looks all right. Uh, the rest are, you know, iffy. I mean, while we need another barricade, you know. <sighs> I'm sorry, I disagree with you on that Chrome Dome. I think that's just atrocious. Really? That is, yeah, yeah right. it's. I don't like it at all. I mean, they're going for the whole IDW look with the head. They nailed it, but it's. No, man, not the real Jack mold. I mean, I no. Like the real Jack mold. That's one. That's probably my favorite uh, mold out of the Prime series. Because you smoke one. meth and live in Arkansas. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I, I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> too. But yeah, the, the subscription. I mean, I signed up. I mean, I just renewed my uh, subscription. You know, as always, because I'm. I'm so uh, sorry. Yeah, so I will get that little uh, red little demon thing. Um, I, and I. <laughs> I did sign up what? for the subscription, which I'm really kind of upset now because I, what pissed me off is, you know, we paid, I think, last year, October, and we still have not got any figures yet from that, the second subscription yet. And it, and it just, just kind of, just you know, they're always worried about, you know, going to, the, you know, the G.I. Joe Con now is fixing to come up and everything. They're always so worried about BotCon, and they just don't ever 
really put any, you know, anything into the figures, you know, like they, don't, they don't tell anybody anything, you know, then they they don't know when they're going to take out the next money for the you know, uh, second payment of you know things. Is. This is the set with care. the uh, Thrustinator thing, or whatever? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. They, they know, they do that, because they know that regardless of what they do, oh, they, yeah. can e- the they can even fuck your credit card up. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, it won't, and, it, and it won't fucking matter. Because yep. you fucking yeah. people will keep coming back. And you already oh. paid. So yeah. Well, paid. I paid, I'm doing the, the split payment. I, if they if they give me the two figure, if they give me um, Chrome Dome, and I think I like the, um, uh, I probably want the Thrustinator because he's just so ugly. You just want to hug him. Um, if they give me those two figures, the first, I'll probably cancel the rest of them. Because I don't, I mean, the rest are, you know, iffy with me. So, but if they, if they if I'm probably gonna not do the subscription anymore either because I'm tired of just waiting. I mean, it's been almost half a year now. It, and you're, you're not gonna get them until after BotCon, right? Yeah. Like well, I think I think we may get the first two before BotCon, or maybe one. I'm, uh, I've heard there's a there's a we might get them because BotCon's not till June. They might spit them out before that. I think last year we got them. We got to the first two right before BotCon. I think. No, they all came after last year was because it? there was quote unquote some confusion with the people producing them that they thought oh. they were for BotCon. Oh, okay. so that's a bullshit reason. Right. Like you, you yeah. could have been on top of that. Like, well, where is this? It needs to be done now. We're supposed to be shipping them. Like, no. Oh, I remember. Mean, yeah, because a lot of people were fight, were arguing because they wanted them at BotCon. It's like, hey, can we just pick them up here? You know, yeah. we already paid for them. Okay, you're right. My fault. I thought I thought we might have got one before BotCon. See, I, they're so slow in getting their shit. I don't even remember when we get them. So, yeah. if they do it like that again, I, I'm probably I will definitely not probably uh, sign up again for their subscription. I'm just tired of their we'll shit. See. That's not yeah. a dead horse. We'll see. Um, but I've been sitting on this for the last six minutes. Um, the best part about signing up for the club is seeing how good your bank is at uh, catching credit card fraud. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I know two people yeah. have already made jokes, but I've been sitting on that for the last six months. So. I mean, I've I've thought about joining the club in the past, you know, but in the end, like, I, I just seriously had to ask myself, and it's, A, for the figures they were releasing for this year, it's not worth that price. I'm sorry. It really right, is. yeah, you're paying. You know, it's three hundred bucks for like six deluxes, and we actually get a free one, kinda. And I used to do it because of Botcon. I used to go to Botcon. You know, you would get a little discount for the uh, box set and everything. But I don't even go to Botcon. I've been to one last three years, so I, I might not even sign up next year. I don't know. We just spent how long do we spend bitching about repaints? What twenty minutes? Yeah. And then yeah. you're gonna turn around and spend three hundred dollars for a set of repaints. Well, see, here's the thing. I'll spend money on repaints if they're interesting. Like, I thought that uh, uh, Run Amuck and Run About were well, yeah, smart but... things, and so was Punch and Counter Punch, even if his head was a little bit small. But then they just go and make all these stupid things, like like this whole Pirates versus Knights thing. Like, who gives yeah. two shits about whoever Ferric <laughs> is? Like, you know? Like... And Tornado. Yeah. What about Tornado? Uh, and then, like, yeah, you know, let, 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 let me address this real quick so th- those that listen understand this. I recently posted a photo on the Shattered Cast uh, Facebook page. Of course, you can look us up under facebook.com backslash Shattered Cast Uncut. But um, <clears throat> I posted this photo saying, go home, Hasbro, you're drunk. And uh, obviously, bad grammar aside, some guy uh, made a comment where he doesn't understand where people have this violent reaction to, to fun public figures in particular. Now he wasn't referring to you specifically. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I was proving my point out. You know, people have opinions. I have an opinion. Like the the, the bottom line is, okay, you know what? For some people, this is their bag, and that's cool. But for me, what they ask for some of these figures at Botcon, like I owned a Botcon Sunstorm. You know, I only bought that one figure. I paid thirty bucks for him, and I felt like I paid too much. Yeah. When some people are selling him like bagged with his stupid little you know bio card for like seventy dollars. For a figure that's essentially nothing more than a re than than a repaint, or in Sunstorm's case, a shitty repaint of an already established figure that's been used numerous times over. If you really want this tornado and f- what's his name, Farrick? Farrick, yeah. Yeah, go buy, go pay thirty, go pay someone on eBay like between twenty to thirty bucks for your own Cyclonus figure and paint him your fucking self for two dollar acrylic paints. That's all there is to it. Like th- these problems can be solved so quickly, but what happens is people. 
yeah. don't want to go the extra mile, so they'll go ahead and they'll get the, quote, exclusives. So when they sell them, they have a reason why they can ask an astronomical amount for them. The other thing that really bothers me about the club is, like, I have I was a member for a couple of years, two or three, I can't remember. And, uh, uh, like, I've never been to a BotCon. I've been to TFCon, but not BotCon. So for me, the draw was the free figures, whatever they were going to sell in the their store or whatever, and the stupid little pamphlet things that aren't worthy of being called magazines. So it's like, you know, I pay all that money for things that aren't worth reading, and, you know, then you get these these things that are just not good. You know, it's a, essentially I'm paying whatever it was, 45, 50 bucks for whatever the free figure is, you know? Yeah. And then you get these things that are just, like, a waste of time, and, you know, like, there's no draw for people who don't go to BotCon to be part of the club. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there was a while where I wanted to go, but it's like, again, it's I just kept telling myself, why do I want to go and spend X amount of money traveling there in the first place, and then paying for, like, the Primus package, which gives you a free attendee figure, which everyone knows this by now, if, you've been, if you're a collector for years now, you know that 99% of those attendee figures get sold. Yeah. You know, yeah. barely anyone keeps them. They fucking sell them for... Too. They're the recolors, too, so I mean, they're not even... Yep. Yeah. See that's 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 my thing is that like you, you know the, the price the price is so substantial and you know it's not even like they're really bringing something new to the, to table. the table. Yeah. Yep. Besides the occasional new head sculpt, but hey, you know, it's on like, Jazz's body. Why the fuck is this fifty dollars when I got it last year with different colors for fifteen? Yeah. Because like you said, they'll the people will pay for it. People will pay for it. And then you, and then, and then your your magazine. You know, by the time that shitty. comes here, everything inside the magazine that you're saying is like, oh, TSCC exclusive. Like it fucking broke two weeks before I got the magazine. You know, like <laughs> yeah, and it's like it's like five pages too. So you're yeah. like, what is this? I get a little comic. You know, you get a little comics thing, but I, nobody follows that shit. And I, I, ugh, it's. I, the more I listen to y'all, the more I just don't want to really be part of the club anymore. I just, I, I just say, fuck it. Listen, just say, well, that, that eh, wasn't my. Off. For the record, that wasn't my intent on telling you. This, no, no, you know no. What I'm saying? It's just that. to me, that. it's like okay, if it's your bag, that's cool. It's not mine. I can't right. convince you not to join. Like you can't convince me to join. Right. And 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 to me, it was just it, to me like a lot of this shit seems unnecessary. Why are you gonna go for a Chrome Dome and use a? a Transformers Prime style figure for his body and then you oh but hey look his head is like really IDW accurate you know it's like you could have fucking done that why do I need that when I hey you know what I may have paid 70 fucking bucks for my fucking fans project code one codex but it's the chrome dome I know you know it's the headmaster this one comes with what a fucking weapon I think that also I think their company is just really shady, and the way they apologize, I don't even know if they even apologize for like you know the credit card stuff. No, they said it wasn't. It's not our stuff. You know, it's our software. Yeah. You know what? Update your software. You know what? It is 2014. You. We have better shit out there. They have a website that I could have made back in 1998. Oh yeah. God, you know, man, like it, their website is just terrible. See, their it, website just became Y two K. I'm surprised it's not hosted on like GeoCities or Angel Fire. Or something. Oh my I mean, god! But have, y'all, have y'all seen their <laughs> Angel apologies? Fire. I remember <laughs> Angel Fire. Man, I even I even get that joke. It's uh-huh. fucking awesome. <laughs> well, they um they did issue a statement after that happened. Yeah, um, it, was, it was. Like, the statement was like, "Oh yeah, we had all this trouble, and we had to go back through." And it's another company. It's, we're working with another company through this. Well, no, like, but they were they were making it sound like, "Oh, poor us." You know, we've got all this trouble and making it right. I'm like, "Well, it's your fault. It happened in the first place." And yeah. actually, irony, irony. Hold on, I can say more than two sentences at a time. Irony <laughs> was <laughs> that um, I was actually going to get a subscription for like Christmas or my birthday or something that year. And it didn't work out for whatever reason. Like, money got tight or something, so I didn't do it. And that was the year everybody's shit got stolen. So that right there is fucking some higher Stars. being saying, I, yeah. That is that is not just divine intervention, but if anything, a fucking omen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And then, I think recently they just took out, well, okay, talking about this year's subscription, uh, they took out uh, the second installment of payments without telling anybody, and then they made a mistake because it's like, oh, we thought it was it was supposed to go with the GI Joe ones, and everything. So 
it, they did credit our money back, but you know what? If someone didn't have that money, you're you're going into the you know the red. Yeah. So you just fucked somebody over for bills or something. Yeah. yeah. If someone paid with debit and just got an overdraft fee or something. Like, yeah, I, I just paid my mortgage with I didn't money I didn't have because you want to be a douchebag and take it out and say, oh, we're sorry, we we thought of something else. <laughs> that shit right there, <laughs> it's just it's like really. You know, you just you, you know, my balls and just for, said, take fun- it. Take Anyone bitch. from Fun Pub mis- listening, there's a little process you can do to ensure shit like that never happens to you guys again. It's called That's micromanaging. Hard. You know, like make sure all the little tidbits are taken care of before you go ahead and try to execute the grand plan. You know, like something you could have avoided a lot of nastiness if you would have sent out a mass email al- alerting oh, yeah, of they your customers. Send it out of- after that. Yeah. That was the shitty part. Like, they didn't send an email out until, like, a day or two later, apolo- kind of apologizing. I'm like, luckily, I had the money in my account. But, you know, like I said, a lot of people, what well, if you're paying your mortgage and then you're just, you know, you just fucked yourself out of your mortgage right then because, oh, mother, I want to kick somebody in the balls now, really. Oh, that, that, this, that was just, that was fucked up. Happens. This same kind of shit happens with the uh, Maddie Collector Club for the Heat Man stuff. But the thing is, they actually put out figures that people want. You know what I mean? They're actually putting out a good product. And with t- with the with this, you're like, you're getting all the bad shit. And then when it really comes down to it, you're really not getting anything good. Um, Damn, I'm like this Megatron. That Megatron, that's one of the better molds of Prime, the deluxe Megatron. And then they went and fucked it up. Same yeah. thing with Dual Jack. And they went and fucked it up. I mean, I don't want this shit. I mean, it's cool if you like are like a super collector, like Xavier uh, out there. You guys have everything. We love you, Rave Nine. Shout out. Yes, we do. Um, you know that's cool, but really, the only halfway decent looking figure that uh, that I've seen come out recently was that Scourge last year. And shit, I'd already fucking made that figure eight months before. Yeah. <laughs> and it only cost me thirty dollars. Uh, that, that just yeah, fucking just Blunhole, from, Blunhole made his own scourge not too long way before that. He, no, yo, he that was the basis died of his tutorial. Me. Was he it toxic? Died my figure for me. That's why it cost me thirty dollars. Oh, there you go. He made a toxitron too. Used, it looked pretty nice. Yep. I used the fans. Or I used the Mackey toys set um, as the rest of the body. Yeah, I painted a third party uh, figure. Sue me. Oh, it's no. just it's just I bad painted a masterpiece. Yeah. 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 Did you? Yeah. What masterpiece you paint? MP10. In, in yeah, the yeah. Just uh, anything that I felt needed being touched up. No so. shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You, you painted paint it silver or? I've painted a bunch of things like the lights on them and stuff like that. Anything okay. that I thought needed more detailing. Yeah, I right. did it on MP10. Needed more cowbell. I mean, I mean, I mean, not like that crazy <laughs> guy who who did the whole trailer and everything. Just like little things. Like I hated the fact that he has the red uh, cab lights. So I painted those, you know, to make them look like actual truck cab lights. And now they look amazing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I wanted to do my design was design. And uh, there was a guy out there who had done that, and he was selling this custom on eBay or whatever. And I was like, well, shit, if I send you mine, can you put LEDs in it? And he's like, well, uh, with my time, I'm going to have to charge you this much. And it was almost as much as the full fucking repaint was going for. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. And I'm like, all right, well, never mind. Because yeah, you can tell MP10, they thought about putting an LED in it. Cause look at yeah, that fucking they made that damn clear eyes. Why would they do that if there's no light piping or, or LED in there? It's stupid. Uh, Which, by the way, I, I, that's another thing I'm going to do is I've decided that I'm going to rip his eyes out and paint them blue because they look stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Carl one, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I have the Hasbro, so I don't have yeah, so do quite I. that issue. Yeah, no, I have yeah, the Takara yeah. one. So. Wow, go ahead, go ahead. Let's go ahead and, and, uh, and note that uh, in the record that this is the first time you probably ever hear Greg say, I have the Hasbro one, and I don't have that issue <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but mine has issues. Now, don't get me wrong. There are issues with mine, like that finger that falls off. And Yeah, I got that one, too. But chest doesn't still... line up all the time. And, uh... Oh, my, mine lines up just fine. <laughs> Whose uh, cell phone is vibrating Somebody... there? Answer it. Oh, that's all right. You tell yeah, your yeah. booty call, you'll be there. <laughs> yeah. So you'll get the 13 inches later. You just wow. Go with it, hit it, quit it, and make a bitch stream comic about it. I know you. <laughs> 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 
So Hasbro applies for a new trademark title, Robots in Disguise, and the whole cast of fucking Shattered Cast secretly hopes that it's a new cartoon series and toy line based on the comic, but we all know it fucking won't be. Yep. Oh. Just yep. figured I just figured I'd sum up all of our thoughts real quick. <laughs> yeah, pretty much that's uh, uh, that's it. Because uh, if I gotta deal with Uncle Phil voicing Optimus Prime one more time, I don't think I'll make it. Um, <laughs> uh, he died. I know. Don't care. Oh. You never cut me a check. Um, <laughs> God forgive me. You hugs. are forgiven. Thank you. Hugs, Oscar. Hugs. No, no, it's cool. I'll just PM Facebook. God, he'll show, he'll give me forgiveness. Um, <laughs> I I don't you know I hope the R.I.D. is not the fucking cartoon one I I thought the cartoon was was cool don't get me wrong I love Scourge I love the uh, you know one of my favorite Megatron figures is the Ten Changer from yeah. that show or Gigatron yes, whatever yes. you want to call him what I'm trying to say is like would would it be great if they were to make a, a, a robot in disguise cartoon based on the IDW comic which has a great story going for it? Yeah, it would, but we all know that's not going to happen. A producer uh, spoke to some website and TFW reported that basically the kids the thing's going to be aimed more for kids, so the storyline will be as like a uh, I don't want to say intense, but as complex as Prime was, you know. And you're probably going to go back to the very same thing of anime-inspired children with spiky hair going, ha well, through the power of friendship, we'll all stop the Decepticons. ha come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it kind of like the way they ended Headmasters, because that was fucking great. So, like, the, the, that's yeah. what they're going to go for. So, I don't know. It, it, like, I, the R.A.D. cartoon I saw, I liked. I thought it was great. It, I well, I thought it was good, not great. Okay, you know, I was like, gonna if, say great. It was, it was good for the it was good for the time. It was good for the time, yeah. Yeah, you know, like I loved uh, how they introduced Grand Maximus or Fortress Maximus, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, and but, you know, I I loved all that shit. I loved Cerebros. It wasn't some fucking emo ridden Autobot. Oh, deactivate me, Spark! Do it now. You know, none of that nonsense was going on. But at the same time, like, really, like I love I love anime as much as the next guy, but. To my fellow artists out there, this shit needs to stop when you take female characters from any Transformer series and try to make them erotic art. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. It's worse There's when a... you do it with regular Transformers, too. I'm oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Dude, stop with the fucking human versions of these Transformers and them getting all up with each other about it. I oh. don't need to see what Optimus Prime would look like as a human pounding Bumblebee in the ass. Look, um, <laughs> you'd be surprised how many pictures... <laughs> there are a fucking Chrome Dome and Rewind, first of all. Oh, but yeah. today I found out, because I'm making my little stuffed Transformers, and uh, I have a special, my first request was for They're a blaster, awesome. so uh, I was trying to find a, a good reference pick to um, to draw, which I did draw the blaster uh, earlier, with the help of my lovely uh, life partner. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I came across all these pics of fucking blaster ride, riding sound wave. Ugh. And I'm like, who really? does this, dude? I, I've, I, you know, I've never like, who seen. Who sits in their mom's basement that. and like thinks that this is like? I've never seen a know. fandom react this way to things. Like, like, <laughs> like, I just don't get it, man. Like, like, you know, you know, like, like the amount of like, like, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's put all the cards on the table, okay? There's a, there's a lot of people in the transfer. There's space. that skull face I love. There's there's, there's a lot. Of, I'm, I'm going to touch on a couple of things while I have everybody's attention. There's a lot of things in 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 the Transformers fandom that I don't get. Number one is, um. Look, I, I'm I'm all for you know different types of people, different walks of life, whatever. Like I, I I'm 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 not a hateful person, but like, why does it seem that there, that the just the ratio of people with mental disabilities is so high in in the Transformer fandom as opposed to every other fandom? Like when I go to like Toys R Us or when I go to a convention and I see people in the aisle looking at Transformer figures, dude, a significant amount of the time they're they're people that I feel like I, I should I should help find them what they're looking for. And these are grown adults. Okay? So 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 so, th so that that I, I I'm just not sure what it is about the franchise that draws that type of individual. I don't really see that in, in the comic world or you know, the sci-fi world as much. The other thing is, why in the fuck do they feel the need to sexualize things? Like, why the fuck is, is like, is fucking, like, 
they feel the need to do that with eject and rewind or whatever fucking rewind and chrome dome and like you, you don't see people do that with like uh i don't know S- superman and superboy you know oh no they do it dude they do it with batman and robin they, yeah, they do it with called, batman and robin I, I, let me batman and robin. let me introduce you to the world of rule 34 if it's popular there's porn about it and isn't it just something that came about now? This happened like this. Th- my first exposure to it was like uh, I went to a comic shop and they had this long box called Adult Comics. So, of course, I'm like 21. I'm like, <laughs> titties. I pick it up and it's about Gundam. <laughs> and what happens is inside the comic, two of the Gundam pilots end up fucking. Oh, and I'm just like, whoa, what happened here? You know? Oh, crap. Am I lagging? Yeah. You're you're okay right now. A little bit, back. But, but like, but but like, the thing is, is that like, you don't see it. All right, all right let's say, let's say that like, uh, Superman is is a human or, or human esque, right? And and, and right. Batman is human esque and all this. So, so like, sex is like a part of like that geology. But like, you, you you don't see him do it with like fucking crypto or fucking Ace. Like you don't see Ace <laughs> and crypto right. banging it out. You know? Yeah, you don't see that shit because it's illegal to put it on the internet. <laughs> but like, you know, you see it with like these these non. You know, where, where sex is not a part of the biology of these fucking, you know, creations. And and, and, and another thing, dude, I, I want to talk about, I, I didn't bring it up, but, I'm, but I need to talk about it a little bit. I've seen people, just to rewind back to that fucking, that upgrade set for the Bruticus. Right. Like, I've seen people fucking criticize that. Like, you know, like, well, why, why do we need this and blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, uh, okay. Fine. Why do we need it? It's it's old, and I, I get all that. But I just gotta say this: there's a there's a guy out there, and I don't I don't mean him any ill will, and I wish him the best, and I think he's a creative dude, and and you know all that. But he made a goddamn bear made out of guns, and motherfuckers seem to be ecstatic about this shit. Am I lagging? Nope. You're good. Nope. Good. No. Now no, you just stunned the room. Okay, good. Now, now I'm not saying that that it's not it doesn't have its place or whatever, but like y- you you don't you don't fucking criticize that, but you criticize something that makes something look like something that you already have a connection to. Like this is the fucking this is I, I don't fucking get that shit. Like like I, I don't understand how people in their right mind can can praise the one and, and like you know Justin, you pre ordered the 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 BMOG, right under the uh the the the, the whole kickstarter and all that yep so so like there's even somebody on our show that is in you know support and like i support it i get it like and i, I wish you the best because i understand that you're trying to make, get your own thing going and all that like it's not personal dude it, it's it's just a criticism of the fandom where it's like people are just like man ooh, what the fuck is the need for this this is silly this is like god damn it this motherfucker just made a bear made out of guns bobby the word <laughs> word. Uh, you fucking the morons double standard yeah, I mean, you don't exactly. Have to this is the All same fandom where where they're basically split down the middle because one half says Optimus Prime riding the dinosaurs is, is awesome, and the other half goes, "Well, that's just fucking stupid." When you take a premise as original as a bear made out of fucking guns, which should instantly be, "Wow, that's actually pretty creative, pretty original." It's been done, I don't know, fucking never, but they're sure. still gonna sit there and. And either support it or they're not going to support it. Just like they look at the Fall of Cybertron Bruticus ad on set and sit there and say, well, th- why are they fucking making this shit? You know, not too long ago, they tried to make a, a, a fucking a dragonfly that was made out of an Energon cube. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. that a fucking a front yeah, there's that... No, yeah, there's a bunch of different like animals that turn into Energon cubes. Oh, yeah. It, there was no need for that at all. But you know what? Someone out there thought it was a fucking good idea. Yeah, and you know what? Another thing is, this is America. They can make whatever they want. You don't have to buy it. Maybe and, and, and I agree with that. And I agree with that. But, but my thing is, like, for just the, like, Grace, the double standard of the fandom where it's like, well, this guy, like, uh, you know, and his name is Trent Troop, right? And I don't know him. I never spoke to him, but, you know, he's got a good reputation in the community I know of him, right? So, like, um, you know, so, so because he's, like, in the, you know, the quote unquote in group. You know, people are like, oh, man, fucking Trent, dude. Oh, did you see Trent's bear? It's made of guns. You know, but but but, but then sit, sit back and criticize these guys for, for coming up with something that, like, a lot of people bought that looks like shit that yeah. fucking fixes that problem. They're just trying to get the name out there. They're I just, trying to I just sell don't stuff. understand what fucking planet these people are from, dude. Can you repeat the last thing you said? I'm almost there. 
<laughs> but I mean, they're just trying. They're just trying to get their name out there. They're trying to make something. If you don't like it, you know, so what? Maybe they'll make it, something it, that you like later. It's the same thing as that guy that created the uh, that ended up um, sponsoring, getting sponsored by X Transbots who made that uh, add-on set, the limb add-on sets for fucking um, freaking uh, Bruticus and shit. What was it? Echo, whatever his name is, you know. Echo, yeah, again. Yeah, like, you know, he sat there, he created these things, because, hey, look, now he'll stand right, and blah, 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 then you have to color match on your own, and, you know, 30 minute long video showing you what what goes where, then, and he and the dollar fucking add on. But, again, it's it's the, it's the polite double standard. I saw that, I didn't dig it. I, I for one, all due respect to the guy who designed the bear with the bog, whatever it's called, the b-mog, whatever, I, all due respect to the guy that designed that, that wasn't my thing, dude. Like, I right. looked at that, I was like, okay, that's cool, he's made of guns, but I'm not buying it. Right. And, Good and luck that's to you. That doesn't mean that fucking somebody else shouldn't. Right, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Somebody's absolutely. gonna buy it. I mean, somebody, this is a it's... fandom of people who are like, you know what, it's a bunch of fucking racists who so don't have the balls to be racist. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> what? seriously, think about it. Because it's like, um... You think about it as a friend who will sit there and approach a black or Hispanic guy differently than he would a white guy. And well, basically, yeah, well, it's like it's it's like it's my way or none. Like, yeah. like my way is the right way, and it's the same thing with the fucking movie bullshit. And it's like, no, that's not right. Uh, I'm just trying to flat no truck, not a long You know, long you know what gets me about yeah, the movie thing is that people bitch about that stuff. Is you know what you bitch about it, but I guarantee you, you'll be there opening night watching that shit. And then, you know and, what? Why you? I mean, you have the right to gripe. That's fine. But then, if you gripe, if you hate it so much, why are you going to watch it? Why are you supporting? It? You're giving your money to support this film that you're griping about. That yeah, makes no yeah, sense. yeah. But I mean, that's but that's me though. I, I had to admit. But that's you know, you know why? It's the same reason why I bought Mini Con Assault Team. It's like, like, uh, it's, like, like it's like it's it's like I I, I know it's going to be shit. I just have to see it with my own eyes. You like the punishment. That's what you like. Well, yeah, it, it, I, I, it's, it's an abusive yeah. relationship. You know, it's like, like you I like, like that thundercracker. Yeah, it's like, like shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, that do, pussy. I do. But it's like, you like that pussy. You know, I keep, wow. I keep, I keep expecting her to change, and she just keeps coming well, back and beating me. Yeah, you like it rough, so that's all yeah, right. Like, we know, all my do. friends. My In summation, Transformer fans everywhere have genital herpes. <laughs> that's all there is to it. And my friends are telling me, you know, like, dude, you have to leave her, man. Like, you can do better. And I'm like, no, dude, like, you don't know her like I do. Yeah. She lets me put it up her ass. <laughs> it will get better. Wow. It will. I promise. I have hope every day that it I will. I just got to get her to stop drinking and maybe driving and drinking, you know? Still on all my shit and for men. And, th and then we'll get married. We will. I'll make it work. I promise. Anyway, no, that, that's, just, that's just my, my, my frustrations with the criticism. Right. You know, like, I don't. It seems like the criticism are based on who's in the cool club, you know. And 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 Hasbro seems to be in a lot of people's cool. Yeah, club. When did when did nerds have clicks? I don't understand that shit. Would isn't that what nerds were just their part of own, you know, their own people? Why are we getting judged by nerds? Are like, you I'll, I'll put it. To, I'll, I'll put it to you this way, dude. Uh, when it comes to the Transformers fandom, like Bobby hit the nail on the head. We're like the worst critics. Fucking ever. You know, we'll hey, we'll go ahead and we'll use Greg for mercy here as a good example. Greg no. buys a third party figure. Greg does not like third party figure. What does Greg do? Greg sells said third party figure. Correct. I do all right? the time. Okay. Every day. Hit me Greg up. will sell said up. third party figure he didn't like. Whereas other people will buy said same third say, party say figure. Say what I want you to say. Say it. Say it. You know what you want to say. Say it. They will buy said third party figure. Post a photo of them giving th said third party figure the finger, and then going about, oh, this is a pile of fucking dog shit. And then when you sit there and you go, well, why do you still have it? Get rid of it. Then they sit there and their only excuse is, and we joke about using it because we used the same excuse earlier, was, oh, this is America. No, dick shit. You fucking come across like a fucking, like a, a, a stupid, moronic, inbred, juvenile retard because Did you, say you just. Moronic? <laughs> Moronic. 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 More M O R. 
<laughs> and, and you stand there and you look like a moronic, stupid, inbred retard because you just paid X amount of dollars for this figure. You claim how it's such utter and complete dog shit. Do yourself and the rest of the fucking community from reading your fucking benign, juvenile statement and fucking be rid of it instead of sitting there attempting to start a thread because you want to be one of the cool guys in the group. Yeah, I mean, look at me. I've been known to sell shit three weeks after I get it. Three, All three, the three time. Minutes. What about three minutes? Three minutes. Yeah, the three minutes day. without Power Riser Ultra oh, Magnus. Three minutes? I thought it was three weeks. Oh, well, whatever. Fuck that so guy. So you forgot was. about Power Riser Ultra Magnus. But I mean, like, the thing is, like, and, and this is what we have. Well, I was quoting for... my detract one of my detractors, but anyway. <laughs> You know, it, 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 it's just, to me, it's fucking baffling that we still, like, you know, instead of sitting there and telling this person that is sitting there and bitching and talking about how it's a pile of dog shit, how, you know what, dude, shut the fuck up, why'd you buy it, return it. You know, did you take it home, destroy any evidence you had of any package? Wow, Justin, what are you doing? Oh, I have no idea what's happening. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> just, just I'm like scratching what? I'm my beard on my mic. Really? <laughs> oh. I'm uh, I'm painting Metroplex. You might hear me clicking and clacking. Anyway. But the the whole idea, the, my whole point is, you know, like we we sit there and like a lot of the fans claim to be responsible, mature adults, but in reality, dude, we're collecting toys. We're all feeding the inner kid inside all of us, one way or the other. And the thing is that sadly, that part comes out more than our mature, responsible adult size. And when yes. somebody calls you out on it. You don't want to really answer the answer the fucking call. You're just this. You're just like the same jerk off that's got to sit there and bring something serious like politics and bullshit statistics because someone posted a fucking funny photo of an ex U.S. president. Yes. You know, <laughs> you got to be guy. that guy who fucking who just kills the vibe of the party. You could be at a party where everyone's getting hammered and they're smoking weed or doing lines of coke, and meanwhile they're having a blast. And that same jerk off's got to go. Oh my god, man! You know, somewhere some kids starving, and we're here just blowing money on cocaine. <laughs> okay, uh, what, for number one, uh, we here at Shattercast do not advocate the use of cocaine, marijuana, <laughs> or other illegal drugs. Number <laughs> two, motherfucker, that day I was sitting there going, "I'm not going to drink today. Today is going to be the day I turn my life around." And then I see that shit. Oh. Went straight to the fucking freezer. Pulled out one of my bottles and took a big old long pull. And I was like, all right, let's get trolling. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and the sad part is, you know, what you have people that attempt to, again, people that are, that they know they have no ground to stand on. So they pull the whole, this is America excuse. Or they, or they make sure a friend of theirs has their back and tries to, like introducing a comedic legend like George Carlin into the subject of Transformers, which has about as much to do as me talking about, I don't know, the medical field to a fucking stripper. You understand? <laughs> but yet people fucking do that because they have nothing. They know they have nothing, but they do it anyway. And this is the wonderful world of Transformers fandom, ladies and gentlemen, as you hear Skullface and myself talk about this, that in all sincerity, a lot of us are cool. A quarter of us are pretty cool, actually, while the other three quarters, you're just a bunch of fucking retards. So, final you summation to... here. Well, we Fuck still want you. you to listen to this. You're all fucking stupid, but make sure if you're listening on YouTube, you click the subscribe and the, uh, the like yeah. and all that. <laughs> we, 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 still, we still love you and what That's you important. Do, uh, well, because the chances are, if you're listening to this, that you're really 25%. Yeah. We, should start, we, should start, we should start occupying places with 25% signs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> because the reality is just fucking that, dude. It's one thing to sit there and say, hey, guys, bought this figure. It's really not up to par. Really should avoid it. It's another to sit there and say, do not buy this figure. Mine came with some fucked up hinges, and it was all screwed yeah. up. Avoid yeah. at all costs. You know who you are, birthday cake boy. But as far as I'm fucking concerned, you know, there's a right way of doing things, and then there's the fucking wrong way. And apparently a big chunk of the fandom does it the wrong way. And I'm sticking can, can to I my guns. Can I out real quick, Oscar, that's going to make you mad? That uh, same figure you're referring to, isn't that the same one you trashed? When you were going to get your mini leader class figure that you were uh, complaining about earlier. <clears throat> Excuse no, me. no, no. Yes, it was. And, and what did I say after I saw the repo label set? I don't wow, remember. That's got to okay, be a figure then. I got to buy just for the fucking sticker set. Because it looks actually pretty nice. I still hate the head. Actually, the head sculpt is fucking stupid. Actually, you know? the repo label su uh, set was actually one of the ones that kind of sucked. They're uh, issuing uh, replacements left and right. Oh, so, cool. yeah. Anyway. It's a good figure. I have MP10. I'm happy. I don't need that. 
So. Apparently, it's as uh, it, it's not as dense as uh, X Transbot's uh, pipes, but anyway, <laughs> let's move on. I think we awesome. if we ever that, that, that was, was fun. This, it's just called rant. more nerd rage. <laughs> more nerd rage. So we got um, a question from Retro Robot Radio. We made yep. it. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, welcome to the party, Retro Robot Radio. We've been waiting yeah, for you. Yeah, Triple R, welcome. I don't know who you are, buddy, but welcome. Um, so Retro, and, R- Retro and, Robot, real quick. Retro Robot has his yeah. own show on uh, on YouTube. It's a, like a, it's a quick show. He pretty much specializes in, in third-party stuff, so he's a friend of most of us here. And um, he, he's uh, he's got his own thing going on, so you can check him out if, uh, if you're so inclined. And uh, he wrote us. He's pretty active. Like, he's... He's an interactive dude, uh, which is which is awesome. Um, but he says uh, no one reports on the content of TFCC magazine. <coughs> I know they are not as popular as IDW comics or Marvel reprints, and there are often bad feelings for the TFCC. But since no one is reporting, they even exist. Would you guys be interested in covering these comics? Um, and does anyone there actually belong to the club? So let's let's do that first. Does anyone here belong to the club besides Deluxe? Okay, I used to be a part of the uh, club. Um, but they're not really like comic though. It's like short, like a mini story or something. Right, like that. right. But that's what so, he's talking about. Yeah. Are you still a it, part of the club? Okay. No, I'm not part of the club. No. Anybody? Nope. nope. All right. So, so, so let's ask. Let's let's leave this up to Mr. Deluxe because chances are no one else will have anything positive to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> Deluxe. <laughs> What are your thoughts on these comics, these little magazine bits that come with the uh, TFCC stuff? Uh, well, I mean, God, it's been a while. I have not got a, a, a subscription or, or, I'm sorry, a, a magazine in a while. I haven't. I don't know if they've been sending like the one with the rat trap that's on the front. I haven't got that yet. Um, they're like like Antoine said. They're you know little mini small things. Um, not really. A, I don't really consider a comic. They're maybe like the Sunday paper comic things, kind of like that. Um, I really couldn't tell you. Last time I read one, um, just a bunch of crap going on. Really, I mean, it's not really worth the money. It's like five pages. They show stuff like you know uh, some artwork here and there. You know, uh, they give like two bios of, of figures of you know their repaints and everything. I, that's okay, I guess. And that's really it. They may have a, they'll have an interview once in a while, you know. Whoop, you know, whoop you do. So, in my so you're saying it's not worth it. Uh, forty. I do the forty two dollars. The 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 cheapest one they do is forty two dollars a, a year. Um, you know, like I said, you get the free figure, but the comics. If you're doing it for the that little comic strip, no, it's not worth it at all. Hey, uh, y'all would y'all would be disappointed. Big we time. won. We did it. <laughs> I didn't like. No, I never liked the. I never really thought <laughs> the comics were the, the. You know that little comic strip was really that good. I mean, it's just there. It's their toys. You know, it's their recolors and stuff. You know, giving out a story, and I. You know, I don't really. You know, follow it. I couldn't tell you what it, anything is about. All of anything. So, I'm gonna, yes, you, you did win. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a contrary thing. I actually enjoyed reading the little comics. I. I don't oh. think that they were worthwhile. But I did enjoy, you know, some kind of, you know, just some fiction to give the actual toys that they make some kind of credibility. Right. And I, I didn't mind it. They weren't, like, poorly written or anything like that. There was shoehorning of characters that didn't really fit yeah, together, but bad. it wasn't horrible. But, yeah, it, it was a mesh of stuff. Yeah. yeah, but on the other hand, like, you know... There's no option to just be like, I just want to be a member of the club so I can, you know, get access to the crap on the store without the free figure, you know, so if you do put something up that I want, I can get it, and uh, go ahead and send me digital copies of the comic for five bucks or something like that for the year, which is, you know, they really should do something like that, I don't understand why they don't, but whatever. Because that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, they, and they charge. Uh, actually, you know, they charge me, a lot too for their toys. Let me rephrase my statement. I understand exactly why they don't do that because their their website is from 1998, so they don't have that capability. <laughs> they, do, they use Windows 98. Yeah, wow. probably 95. <laughs> 95. 95. Yeah. 95. I mean, every, time, every, every time you sign in, you can't help but hear the Thompsons twins playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear the uh, the internet, the dial-up internet starting up. And then you know you get a, you get a link to their MySpace Whoa. page. 
<laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> but yeah, wow. but that, there, and we do get into their the, the website. You know, you can buy older subscriptions of shit. It's like why? And their toys, you know, they charge. Uh, they charge like you know, big bad toys or uh, yeah, charges. it's not even cheaper to buy like the Hasbro products. They're like get your stuff no. at a discounted price. I'm like, where the no. fuck do you shop that seventeen dollars <laughs> for a deluxe is a, a discount? <clears throat> right. But you can get our Bacon kind of stuff that nobody wanted. What? Woo! So exciting. Yes. Everyone fought like tooth and nail for that freaking, you know, TFCC ch- animated Cheetor figure. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, God. I, y'all are making me want to cancel my subscription. God, you should do it. it. You should do better. <laughs> you know what you should do? Cancel they already charged su- me, so. Hey, uh, hey, Deluxe, cancel your subscription and buy Bobby that IDW Thundercracker. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm going to give him my Thundercracker. I, I will give him my Thundercracker just so he can be happy. No, I want that Raptor, Aww. man. No, you don't. That's all, that's all I'll study about that. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, I want it. I want it. I just got to fight it. You're not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to so, buy it. I'm not gonna retro, buy it. I, I hope that, uh, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Is it fair to compare this to IDW, though? Or Fuck no. Marvel? No. I think I think that what Retro is saying is that you know he knows it's it's not you know anywhere near that ballpark. No. But, are, are you, you talking know, about since, since nobody talks about it? You know, would we be interested in talking about it? And I I think that because I think that, you know to answer it you know kind of diplomatically, I think that the 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 black and white of it is that the only person that gets it is Matt, and he doesn't seem to care much for it. So yeah. we wouldn't really have a leg to stand and, on, and, and, and that's kind of saying a lot. Right, right, right. I mean, it, like like Justin said, it's just it's a comic of their toy, you know, their recolored toys, you know, it, it just just to give them a little bit of a background. That's all it is. I mean, it, it's it has it's nothing, pointless for nothing at all to do with IDW at it's like all. Like both is comic. No, yeah, no, he's not saying that though. He's no, I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, like I said, yeah, it's like an introduction to their. But like I said, like I told you, it, it's a it's a mesh of just. Of nothing. I mean, it's just a mesh of just a bunch of robots. You know, they really don't have a background to them, but they try to give them one. It's like third party comics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that that award winning fans project for Bot Defender fan. <laughs> <laughs> I had enough for you, Fatoon. <laughs> it's like literally, well, like, I, I am a huge oh. third party fan. I have literally never read one third party comic ever. <laughs> like, the ones I, that come like with the toy, I'm like, nope, could care I less. I read that Bovis one and I was just like, what? <laughs> I've read yeah. of Why does the saber tooth tiger wear, you know, <laughs> Jordy's visor from fucking Star Trek The Next <laughs> Generation? What's going on? <laughs> I've I've read most and I actually don't mind those either, but I put them about the same as I would the TFC comic that it's really nothing special. It's just something yeah. extra. That's all. I think that it probably has more to do with them, like a, a JIC type of situation. Yeah, because they like, got something. And go, oh, it's not you know. Yeah, no, 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 no. About? It's based on this fiction. It's yeah. based on this fiction. That no, that's not Roadbuster. That's we, yeah. We even included know? the fiction. I mean, what kind of moron would try to sue us? Yeah. This How can revolver. you call this Roadbuster? We never call him Roadbuster. <laughs> we never. Zero. Revolver. Roadbuster. Cl- <laughs> the fuck is a Roadbuster? The original clearly goes ding, 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 ding. And just make sure you're able to say that when you're being hung outside of a hotel room balcony by by a very large record executive that is holding you up by one hand. Is he going, I like you, Vanilla Ice. I'm going to kill you last. <laughs> That's like Marvel saying you can't say mutants anymore. You know, they can't say mutants at all, so. Real quick, I wanted to touch on, does, does everybody kind of, you know, I know Matt Matt's not up, up to snuff, but the rest of us, does everybody kind of prefer um, more than me CI over R.I.D.? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. A, because I'm a big Rodimus fanboy, always will be. And B, it, I don't know, Alex, the, the artwork in that has been, has been good. The new guy that's been doing it, uh, crazy about it, but the writing is still fucking strong. Yeah. My God, they got Whirl. They got fucking Swerve. They have fucking, you know, they have Skids. Now his partner, Gate, uh, Getaway, he's fucking pretty good in that comic also. Yeah, I think that it's it comes down to, like, the, the you know, like, there's some cool stuff that goes on in R.I.D., like, you know, like the little political chess game and all that. Like, I, I dig all that. I, I love all that in R.I.D., but, like... It's 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 the, the fucking more than ECI is just so fucking character driven. Like it's uh, it's an adventure. It really is. Yeah, it's like three or four, three or four fucking issues would go by without like any real action, and I won't have noticed at all. You know, yep. like because the, the, just the little dialogue and stuff is so compelling. 
it's because they take characters that aren't like R.I.D. is taking like the same old characters and trying to find a way to make them fresh. Um, while more than meets the eye, takes characters that you've never heard of, and they supercharge uh, the shit out of them. Yeah. Like Swerve, Swerve had like World. Swerve had so many or so few lines. He had one line in G One. If you actually go look on the TF Wiki page, it says voice actor unknown. <laughs> it does but now um but now he's like the fucking poster boy for more than meets the eye yep and now he has his own third party toy he has two third party toys two third party toys with well, yeah, the first one was miserable. possible three right because yeah. it wasn't sxs doing one too no yeah. fuck them Oh, Wait, Lord. Were, were, weren't they doing one? Yeah. No, we don't. We don't count that. We don't count the. Not- <laughs> yeah, they were doing a gears. No, they did a gears. Yeah, yeah they were going to try to make. A, yeah, dude, that was a piece of shit. And I tried to justify it, and you know, Bobby, because we talk. I was like, yeah. well, it's kind of like a really good. No, it was just a piece of fucking shit. I it was like a really it. good fucking um paperweight, like dollar store toy. <laughs> I've still got it coming. Oh, uh, you think it's a? You think Are it's you an really? overpriced quick changer? Yeah, yeah, I've still got it coming. God, Bobby, what the fuck? Well, whatever keeps time. your money out of, whatever keeps your money away from this fucking eye gear seekers. Yes. <laughs> make, make don't 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 make him want to get rid of the South by whatever, because I want his uh his gears. Just yeah, <laughs> the uh, make toys one, but it sounds like sounds like it, this one won't scratch my ears. We'll see. I'm not getting fucking. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. So anyway, that pretty much sums it up. Oscar, you want to take us out? Yeah, as always, be sure to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Shatteredcast Uncut, as well as look us up on Twitter under, is it at Shatteredcast Uncut, or is it Shatteredcast Online? Uh, it's all fucking misspelled. The links will be in the show notes. Yeah, so be sure to check us out on Twitter, Tumblr, and uh, make sure to, this weekend coming up, you're going to be seeing the debut of the Double Deal Experience Part 2. Nice. Um, oh, fucking time. And uh, Part 3 is just, well, I don't mind spoiling it because it's just me on hold for 10 minutes. I have not gotten back from work early enough to call Hasbro because their corporate offices close right at five, like right at five. So they can't get goddamn toys right, but they can fucking go home at five o'clock. Damn right, they could <laughs> clock out right on the nose, but fuck shoulder joints. Uh, but part two when, of the uh, trailer reaction, uh, Skullface's right trailer reaction will be up at some point this this coming week. I uh, have to and, do mine. I, I and it will have them. a uh, guest appearance from another Shattered Cast host. So the I'm going to go ballsy and I'm going to animate my reaction. Do I get to backhand oh. you, Bobby? Uh, actually, yeah, I don't want to give it away, but you do, <laughs> you do get to cause me physical harm. This is, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, actually. Oh. Yeah, I'll give it away. He knocks him on the floor and then, you know, Skullface gets up with a full head of hair. Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> As he goes, like, whoa, like, what happened here? Like uh, Finn from Adventure Time, he's going to take the skull mask off, and there's going to be this like, <laughs> fucking man, long, 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 golden pain. locks. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, if you're just us, just us guys talking, I'd trade an inch off my joint to get my hair back. That's <laughs> true story. You just heard, this man just said he'll give up his entire penis. I could, I could donate <laughs> some <something. laughs> penis. Oh, I miss that shit, man. I feel I'll like donate some of my puke hair. You can have like this original <laughs> juice. Bro. That statement should appear throughout this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just cut. It'll be like, yeah. So our thoughts on? I just traded joint. <laughs> I, <get my> <laughs> <for> some <laughs> hair. I would. And then dude. right back at it, dude. I miss like the windows down in the car, letting the fucking wind blow through. I, I miss. There's tons of shit I miss. But dude, you, you guys with hair, don't take that shit for granted. Oh, nope. believe me, I don't enjoy mm, it. I sure enjoy don't. It. Yeah. I think I'll full hawk it this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to be a fan of Doctor Who. Wow. So, on that note, you guys, as always, make sure to take care of yourselves and each other because you have just been shattered. Antoine? Antoine? <laughs> <laughs> Antoine's eat cheese doodles. <laughs> uh, put the fork down, Antoine. Get on it. Let's- there you go. Again, again, because I was talking. Again, do it. Do it one more time. One more time. That's right. Right up the butt. Hi, this is Gary Chalk, Optimus Prime. You've been listening to Shattered Cast Uncut. Stay tuned for the next vlog. <laughs>